I was familiar with him in Europe, and I know as a young player, he was playing in top team uh, in Lithuania. You know, he's got great size, and he's got uh, uh, athletic ability and, and uh, basketball skills. So I knew he'd be a high draft pick, and now it's been interesting to watch him as he progresses in the league. Now, with you yourself personally, what are you specifically working on with him here? Well, in talking with Coach Casey, uh, the Raptors would like to see him expand his game a little bit where he's got something face, facing up. It's not just back to the basket game. And that's kind of, uh, that is the way I played. And uh, I've had quite a bit of experience teaching uh, young players in the league uh, with by coaching for a couple, two, three teams. And, uh, again, he's a great student. He uh he worked hard today, and we talked about a few things that he could do to, to help him uh, expand his game. Now, one thing I spoke to him about earlier this week was he talked about speed and wanting to be faster. Your take on you know him speeding up his game, is that something that appeals to you? Yeah, there's two ways to approach that. Number one, again, physically, I'm sure uh, with the support of the staff, he's going to get stronger. And strength but the other part is is just to recognize situations and uh, anticipate a little better so you just try to get there earlier it's not just uh, reacting to a situation but getting to the right spot before it happens and kind of anticipate uh, when it will happen and for bigs that's really important and that the, the more time in the league that they have the you know and more experience the bit better they get that uh, but to be in the right position at the rim when there's someone penetrating, to recognize that it's coming and get there in time is really important. Now in this modern NBA, there's a lot of stretch fours and the big guy sometimes is on the floor. How do, how do you view what's happening with the big guy in the NBA and how do they work around that situation? Well, they want to open the floor up. Uh, again, there's usually one guy inside and uh, uh, Jonas fortunately is a good free throw shooter, has good range. Uh, it's not like you got to work on a shot. It's just kind of working on its balance and, and pivoting and, and uh, understanding where these open slots are going to be and then be confident enough to just to take it. I think he's probably, because of his size, been taught to try to just bang and bang and get as close to the basket as possible, which is a good thing. And he, he's effective doing that, but uh, he needs more than that if he's going to last in a game for a while.